Oh. Gotta switch them around. But yeah, basically, you go around the world, you find you find these rings, you start off with with the basic fire and the basic water, which the basic water gives you this barrier and the basic fire gives you this flame. And we are playing on normal difficulty, as you saw. So here comes actually the first sub boss, and this dude's gonna drop our first ring. So yeah, we can cheese him from the underside like that. And that ring is speed up, and also if you combine it with the fire there, it becomes your first fireball. Now with this particular combination, you can have one fireball on the screen. So the farther you are away, the less fireballs you can put out. See that? See how slow that is? But if you're close to an enemy, see how much faster I put those out? See how fast that went out? Because the fireballs are reaching the enemy faster. So you can put out more fireballs quicker. If you're closer. The farther you are away, the less they go out. Now there is a there is basically the next the next ring that's an upgrade to this one will actually allow us to have two fireballs on the screen. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Could have stuck that. We'll be okay. There are these fairies that you find throughout the game that increase your health bar. So as you can see, our health bars are actually pretty low. You only start off with two. But there will be these fairies that will come across throughout the game that will allow us to get more health. And there's some fruit right there for us anyway, so. But yeah, there is basically one fairy per level in the first four stages. It's all good. We can tank a hit there. The first fairy is right here, buried beneath this rock. Release him. Boom, there you go. Health increase and fully healed. Ooh, that's not good. That's okay though, we'll be all right. Here's the first boss. Pretty much jump back and forth like this and you're good. It's easier said than done. That's gonna take a few that's gonna take you a few tries to get that down. Yeah, this is the ball those little scorpions right there, they don't have those in the manual. So the first, yeah, the first sandworm that you kill will drop you that ring, and you want to make sure to get that ring. So like I said, this one will allow us to have two of, of these single fireballs on the screen at once. By itself, it's a high jump, which we will need to utilize, actually, in the second part of this stage. We don't need to utilize it in this one, so we can just focus on... Ooh, crap! 
We can just focus on taking down the enemies in this part. We don't even need to focus those sandworms anymore because we already have our, our ring, so. We can just watch them in all their glory. I like how the music changes when you when you switch scenes here. So they get power-ups like in a side-scrolling shooter? Not exactly, no, these are permanent. Like these will never ever go away. They're more like crucial items because let's say I didn't kill any of those sandworms at all, Retrorex. This ring would never drop then. I would just have to play the rest of the game without it. And I'm not sure I'd be able to. I'd get stuck and I would have to reset here. In that way, the game's actually kind of cruel. If you don't, if you don't pick the ring up, you could screw yourself. Same thing with the fairy. Let's say that you just accidentally don't pick up the fairy. There's no way to come back for it. So you now just cannot improve your health by one bar for the for the said level, you know. I will say it's not the uh, it's not exactly the best design for a game. I've had people be like, "Oh, this game's stupid." I'm like, "Yeah, I can see how you'd say that, but." Personally, like I said, it's always been a favorite, so, and the music's really good. I always thought the graphics and the boss is really cool. this way. The one behind us won't shoot at us. Okay, here, okay, here, here comes another fairy. This one actually looks like a fairy. There you go. You see our, how our health straight up increased? So for this boss, we actually want the speed up here and this combination of the fireball. Okay. Nice. Nice. That was actually really good. Pretty much set out what we need to do there. That's okay. There's some secret health over there, so we're fine. Again, there's some secret health, so we're going to be okay. Now we can have the dual fireball. Oh gosh, please don't die. Here, here's the secret health. Let's go pick that up real quick. Hey, 
Hey, no worries, Pompshell. You have a good one, dude. Thanks so much for coming by, man. I take it that means you're streaming. Have a great stream, dude. Best of luck with everything. What are you streaming at? Like Dark Souls or? Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, we can do the same thing. We can have the speed up. Pretty much, yeah, the double fireballs here. Take those guys out. They try to mess with us. Like that. Good hits early on the Phoenix here. Come on. There we go. And this is why we have the speed up on so we can get to the left or right hand side of the screen depending on where we need to go. In a jiffy. Back to the center here. Yep, here we go. We need to go left here. That way we do not get hit by the fire eggs. Nice. I love this stage. Using this one is top notch. Let me go back. Let me go grab the final beer real, real quick. This will only take 30 seconds. You had this game as a kid? Yep. Yeah, it was a weird situation, Retrorex. Hey, cheers, everybody. I remember, I remember my stepdad specifically came home with it one night. He was like, yeah, this game is on sale for $10, so. Like, you know, I, I figured, you know, we could treat you guys. And my brother and I plugged in. We were expecting it to be crap. We're like, oh, 10 bucks, like, great. We, we loved it. We're like, wow, this game's awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> Highly recommended for any Genesis lovers out there because whether you're emulating or on original hardware, because it's actually not that expensive. On original hardware. I only paid thirty dollars CIB for this. With shipping and handling and tax it was about forty four. But the guy was asking forty four to originally, so it would have cost me more like fifty four, but I talked him down ten dollars. I was like, yeah, how about how about ten bucks off since the you know you're asking eleven you're asking basically almost twelve dollars for shipping and handling, so I was like, how about ten bucks off? And he and he agreed. He he agreed immediately. He was like, yep, sure, that sounds like a deal. He's like, go ahead, go ahead and, and accept the offer, send the money, and I'll make sure to send the game safely. Yep. He had it he had it he had that thing bubble wrapped amazingly.
Wow. I love that little stuck ship there. Well, you know, I just, I, I like to, you know, I always make sure that I don't just, I don't just send them an offer, right? I make sure to send them a full message with it too. I'm like, hey, I'm looking for a working copy in this game. Your game looks promising. You know, I've noticed a few things here and there, you know, like I'll just, you know, make a few notes, you know, but I'll be like, hey, you know, like, 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 feel free to let me know what you think about the offer. We can talk. I, I, I always say that. I always make sure to make to let them know I have an open door like hey like if you don't like the offer like yeah like can be like if they're like hey like yeah like 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 increase it by five and we're good if, if they sent that back to me I'd be like okay like I get it but yeah I just like to treat them like they're actual people like I don't just send them an offer like I'll send them a whole message with the offer and let them know what I what I what I'm actually thinking <laughs> And I always tell them, like, feel free to let me know what you what you think about the offer, and you know, I hope to talk to you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's it, it's amazing how how just being a little nice, and you know, giving somebody some proper respects will go. <laughs> Usually goes a long way. But it, it, it hasn't always worked, Retrorex. There's been there's been offers that, that have been fine. Oh gosh, do not let the Yeti hit you, dude. Uh... Did the game just glitch? Thank goodness. The game glitched, but it corrected itself. How do you know a sign of a good game? Because we need that ring. So... Well, I suppose we don't need it, but I, I would like to have it, thank you. We don't need this ring either, but... Like a speedrunner would probably skip those two. Wait, could you skip the Yeti? Maybe you could. I don't actually know. Maybe you could skip the Eddie. Man, would you would you guys please perish already? Holy crap. have another one of those fairies that's going to increase our health here coming up. Let that guy go. Here it is. But there are some bats that are going to try to take us off guard here. There they go. Pushing us off. Thankfully, that, that fairy will not disappear, so... Yeah, those, those hornets, dude, are so deadly. They're extremely annoying. Okay, so I think we have the right combination as to what we want for this boss. It's right around the corner here. I used to do what you do what you do on EBA, create a relationship with a seller. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, there are people too, right? Some of these people have like taken time and efforts to like preserve these games. Yeah, sure, some of these people may have just inherited it or got lucky and got it. Or they had the money and they bought it and they're reselling it. But either way, like some of these people like have gone through means as well to like preserve these games and try to sell them to you. So you have to like, is it like business is a relationship. That's a good way to put it, Retrorex. You 
should treat it like it. Don't just if you treat the person like they're a piece of like like they're just a a, a machine, you know, a robot like that there's something to be talked at and not listened to, then it's like, okay, yeah, you're probably not going to like this isn't going to work out for you, right? This particular person, I've actually been watching their copy and I've seen that they've had it on eBay for two or three months. And so that's when I reached out to them and I'm like, hey, you know, like I've, I've been looking for a copy of this game. Y yours is, you know, looked good, you know. Let me know how you feel about the offer, you know. Like I said, they were selling it for 40 I asked for 10 bucks off because they were asking for, again, $11 plus shipping and handling. So sometimes that's what I look at, right? Like when I looked at the zombies in my neighbor's cart that I bought, it was like, okay, they're asking, they're asking for, for $20 for the zombies in my neighbor's cart that in the, the labels basically torn. They said it's clean and working, but the label's not in good shape. And they're like, yeah, it's beat up. But you know, they were asking for, what was it? $20 for the cart and $5 shipping and handling. So I was like, hey, how about five bucks off? And they're like, yep. Especially if you're looking to just play these games, that's actually a good route to go. Like if you're like, you can find these, some people have these, you'd be surprised, copies of some of these old 16-bit games that have like torn labels and stuff, but they're like cleaned and working. Like, and, and they'll have even pictures of them like working on their CRTs or whatever, you know, their TVs. And sometimes they'll even have like, like make an offer for those ones that are torn. And if you're just looking to play the games, that's a, those are the ones you want to look for. Just go to those people, talk to them, just be like, hey, I'm looking for a working copy. You know, and just be polite and you'd be surprised what will happen. Oh, he can attack me from there? Are you joking me? You have to absolutely be kidding, he can attack me from there. That's crazy. As long as we don't get hit by the crystal, we're good. Yeah, see those little icicles were good because we can activate our barrier and they're not really gonna do anything. But we got to draw the crystal, like that big icicle there. Good damage there. And keep using that barrier when he hits the when he hits the ground there so that if the icicles hit you, it's not gonna do that much damage. Alright, there's the third tier water ring. I mean, that, that that helps in any situation, RetroRx, it really does. You, you'd be amazed at just, you know, when you walk into a cafe, when you walk into a restaurant, when you walk into a bar, when you walk into any situation, and you actually give people, you know, some space and some common respect, like how well things will actually work out for you. And that's what some people just don't understand. They're like, oh, I'm just going to go in here and push everybody around. Like, yeah, that's not going to work out really well. Like, sure, like, you can go ahead and displace your anger on other people. Great. You're such an adult. <laughs> like, I don't know. I see people some people saying some weird stuff, and I'm like, dude, you're like 40, and you're like posting a picture of, of how long you've waited at the drive-thru for McDonald's? Like, what's wrong with you, dude? <laughs>
I don't know. Personally, if someone came over here, it, if I had a guest over here and they were like, yeah, dude, like I went to in and out and I, and I waited 20 minutes. I'd be like, why are we talking about that? Like, we've got so much to catch up on as it is. That's what, you're, that, that, that's what we're going to talk about? I don't know. But yeah, like you'd be amazed at how just like treating treating people in everyday situations like you would want to be treated. Like how much easier that that, that will make your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Just have some peace and understanding. <laughs> Took me a while to find that fairy right down there. That one's hidden pretty well in plain sight, I will admit. See, so yeah, I gotta jump over the lob pits there with the double jump. We're gonna send the knights right back at you again. That's exactly why I left that health there. In case I got hit a few times. Thank you very much. Alright, this boss is so crazy, dude. You're pretty much guaranteed to get hit and take a bunch of damage, so... Yo, what's going on, Retro Demergy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm overall an introvert, but I really like talking to people out and about, yeah. Yeah, it's why I do work, and when these people talk to you, it makes your day more enjoyable. Yeah, exactly, you know? It's kind of like what Jax was talking about, like when you try to tell somebody good morning, and they just ignored him, it's like, yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> usually doesn't translate very well, right? It's like, yo, man, I'm just trying to, just trying to give you the, just trying to give you, you know, the, Proper specs was like, hey, good morning, like it was his boss or whatever he said it was. And it's like, yeah, dude, like, you know, that just isn't what you want to, like, experience, you know, when you're trying to give somebody, like, you know, the time of day, and you're like, hey, dude, how's it going? Good morning. And they just ignore you. It's just like, uh, okay. <laughs> so, like, I totally got what Jax was saying, you know, especially if it's something you've been working with for a long time and they just ignore you. It's just like, uh, okay. I'm so, I, I can see you're having a good day. <laughs> How's it going today, Retro Demergy? Is it good morning? Oh, not for us here, not yet. M morning! Yeah, you, you need to utilize the double jumps in this one for sure. So yeah, this boss is crazy because you pretty much have to take damage. So... I usually stand right about here. Yep, there's that fireball. Nice. That was pretty good actually. So now we need to build the sword. Use the sword against his second phase. Come on. 
Destroy it. Yes. Woo! That second stage of that boss can be a... That second phase of that boss can be a real problem. Take out those skeletons. There's gonna be some health above us here. We're gonna need to get it. So what we need to do first here is take this off. Oops, there you go. Nice. Let me wake up first. Is that a tower over the clouds? Must be tall. Yeah, I suppose. I'm not really sure. Th that part they don't really explain. It's not like, you know, in some games they give you like an actual map of your progress. That was dumb of me to take that hit there for no reason. We'll be okay. I hope. As long as this sub boss come up here doesn't misbehave too much. Oh gosh. This is bad. This is really bad. That's not what we wanted. Might have gotten, might be okay. We'll see. So we need to land just right on this spear here so that we don't die. There you go. Nice, right. I think we made it. Oh no. Woof. 
Thought I was gonna die there. Oof. Destroy these old blocks here. There will be some more health for us too. We're gonna make sure you grab it. There you go. Okay, here we go. There's the Phoenix. Go on, go on, go on. Excellent. Not much of a problem. I was floored when I found out the camp, uh, the... Japanese version of Contra actually had an intro and a world map. Wow. You die directly from that last spear? That's an evil design. <laughs> version back in the day. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probo... Probotector. What was that like a... You said that was a Contra game? In a different region? Okay, so this first... Statue is going to be fire is going to shoot fireballs at us. Probotector, weird. I think Probotector might actually even be on the Contra Anniversary Series.
Yes, yeah, so you want to time it. Nice. There you go. Here comes the Ice Dagger Mermaid. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Doing okay. This boss is so weird. I use the Fire Viper and the Double Jump. was really good. All right, we just need to do this, jump and avoid. Get three fireballs going. Easier said than done. Yes. Hell yeah, we are in awesome shape. The last boss here, hell yes. Come on, let's beat this. Sword. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! Run away! <laughs> Run away!
I see. Kinda has to like spot you. In order for that to even go through. Certainly getting a good look at his move list here. Run away. I wonder if we have to destroy him with the sword. Yes! Yes! We got him on the first night. I knew we could. Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. We got him on the first night. I knew we could do it. Yes! I knew we could do it on the first night we featured this. I wonder if this is game I wonder if this is the game telling me to play it on hard. There is no mention in history of the battle waged between the jewel master and the forces of evil. But legends do speak of twelve magic gems and an ancient kingdom that flourished in peace. Hey Retrorex, thank you for the biddies, dude. I appreciate it, man. Really goes a long way. Cheers, dude. So happy we were able to take this down on the first night we featured it. I knew we could do it. Like I said, this was a this was a an ancient childhood favorite. <laughs> but not so ancient. You know, there was there was several times tonight where I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That's what we have to do there, you know. It's been a while since I played this game, but like I said, this was one of my favorite ones as a kid, so. I was super happy when this came in the mail the other day. And yeah, I'm really excited. I was really excited to share it all with you folks tonight. And I had said, I was like, I'll, I'll bet that's one we can take down in one night. That's what I straight up said. For a while there, I didn't know. For a couple hours there, I was like, are we going to be able to take this down tonight? Yeah, last boss fight's tough, dude. 
Such is the stuff of legends. What a great shot of that castle right there. So are we going to get some credits or? Is that what it stays as or? Yeah, no, the rings do really do bring an interesting touch to the game. Oh, we're not going to get any. 